Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about workspace collection and then later we'll see how to create our first HTTP GET request. This workspace and collection are very important to create our first request. So I'll talk about this in detail and then later on we'll have a demo. So workspace in Postman allow you to club your entire work together so that you can have everything whatever you have in your Postman for working a proper a specific organization let's say you have collections environment scripts so you can club together in a workspace so as per official documentation of postman workspace enable you to organize your postman work and collaborate with your teammates you can group your projects together with the workspace acting as the single source of truth for a related API collection environments mocks monitors and other links entities by collaborating in a workspace your edit sync with your teammates in real time as I said earlier you can whatever you have you can club together in a workspace and you can share them with other your team members so whatever you have that will be available to your teammates in a real time so there are number of options what kind of workspace you have you can have personal private personal is for only use private is for you and your team members and this few options are available only with the enterprise version means for learning these options won't be available team partner and public so team you can enable workspace with your team and collaborate with the manage across your team within your team and same partner and public public workspace enable you to collaborate to entities with anyone across the world means these are openly available postman collection postman collection is used to save your request in a group let's say you have number of requests and you want to categorize or you want to grip some request on whatever the criteria you have you can save request in a particular collection so every request should go to a collection you can have multiple collections and you can save any number of requests in that collection so you can group your postman request and examples as per the official documentation example into collections to keep your workspace organized to collaborate with the teammates to generate api documentation api test and to automate request runs so there's a one more advantage you have a uh, collection runner you can enable collection runner so that you can run your request inside collection in a particular sequence or you can uh, run that entire collection manually or on a schedule from monitor or you can run those requests from the webhook as well and you can do run those entire collection you are using ci cd means jenkins and all whatever the tool we have for ci cd you can use those to execute those requests which are there in your collection so collection is very important and that is needed to save your request now let's create our first get request by creating workspace collection and we'll create that request so i will be using openly available api to show this demo okay so this is our postman where we only install it we did not create anything so what i'll do you will see in left hand side you will see my workspaces so what we'll do we'll create a new workspace right now when i click on new you will see a different options here whatever you can create you can create a http request graphql webhook and lot of other stuff collection environments api flow so now we'll create a workspace for now and what is the name let me name it geek and code book here you have to say what kind of workspace it is so you can create personal private and these options are not available for the free version partners so what I'll do I'll create a by default team so let me create a as a team and create workspace you can add a team profile but let's straight away go to the workspace now let's go and let me close all this stuff together so you will see here now you will find a namespace right call this one whatever we created geeks codebook now let me create a request now still i did not create collection so what you can do you can create a request first and when you try to save request it will ask you to create a collection or straight away you can create collection here itself but let me create a request now new and we'll create a http request 
okay now if you see here the title you can give the whatever the title of your request has now the type of request you can have in drop down you will find a different options to create a http request you can create get put patch delete head option as per your need but we'll keep it very simple and we'll create a get request here whatever the url of your request so for this example, we'll use countries and cities API requests. Those are available over internet. You'll make a request and it will give you some information about the capitals of the countries. So what we'll do? Let me add that URL. Okay, so I added a URL. Now, when you try to save it, let's save it. Let me save as. So it will ask you, it's not allowing you to save here. Let's say it's disabled. Why? Because you have to add a collection. You have to save it inside a collection. Let me first name, name it. Let's say countries capital. So either you have to select a collection if you already have or you have to create a collection. So either right now you can create collection or earlier also you could create a collection. Now let me save it. Let me create a collection from now. So we'll say countries API and create. So I have created now. Now this request will be saved under this collection, right? If you have multiple, you will have option under which you want to save it. Let's save it now. You see here now in now one collection is available earlier. This section was empty and it will it was asking you to create a collection now. So uh, we have countries API as a collection and inside that we have one request called countries capitals and it's a get request. So what should happen now? Now let me send it first and then we'll talk about the uh, sections and what is where. So let's send it. See, you will see as I send it now, you will see this is as I told you, this is called workbench where you will see everything here. So you see here body this here you will see the response status code 200 timing size and this is the response right body of your response you see prettyfy where the json is actually prettyfy it is returning a json so this is my response and it is successful if you want to see the raw 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 response you can see here pretty preview you can have like this and visualization if you want right now it is not enabled i'll show you later so let keep it it's pretty so this is the response this api is returning my countries and the capital of that particular country and some other information don't worry what it is returning that is a different thing our purpose to understand how to make a request here so we have done with the request now because it was a get request so we are not passing any body or uh, parameters any body to it so but we can pass any query parameter but right now we are not passing so if you want to have any parameters to it you can add here key value pair right you could pass those query parameters here i'll show you that as well now the second one authorization if your api need any authorization you have to enable here the number of options available for authorization base whatever your authorization is if you want to add any specific header right now there is a seven header which is already added by itself by postman if you have your own header you can add it here let's say if you are making a post request where you want to make a body so you add that data here inside body your number of option you can add form data x this uh, form url encoded data raw data binary and graphql if you are making a graphql request raw data is where let's say if your api is taking any json or any other format where the structure is not defined so you can pass those json or something here inside raw or form data if you have any form data means you are passing key value pair you can add here so that way you will make the body we'll see this in a post request right and here you will see the prescript if you want to write any script before your call you can write it here if you want to add any test we'll see that here we'll see in coming tutorials right settings these are the different settings available we'll see each and every whenever we need it so let's leave this setting for now now the important part is right hand side section i was not able to show you in previous tutorial now you will see this right hand side section this has different options we'll see that so here if you see documentation 
if you want to add a documentation here we'll talk about it later and it has comments this code this is important so if you want to have this request code in a specific language you can get that let's say i made a request i want a java code for this actual request how i make this in java so you can get this code now the number of things available right curl if you want to have a curl request code it's using same request you this is available here right if there's a number of options available you can get c sharp http client c sharp rest sharp so number of things available if you want to have this code in node.js this is available let's say for example i am using java and using ok http request oh, api what is the code if you click here so this is the code actually you have to write in your java if you are using ok http so that is really important feature you can have the end code as per your specific language right you can just simply go there and add it in, in your programming language now there's a one more important section is footer why it is important i'll show you one section is very important inside footer you will see this console right let me scroll scroll a bit if i see the console right in console you will see actual request let me close this okay this actual request let me open this one get this console will you show you your actual request what was the url this one what was the request headers network right what was the network addresses whatever you want to show that related to a particular request everything is available what were the response headers right request header response headers uh, request body what was the request body right and the response body everything will be available inside this right now in this console so you can go back and check this console and this is the important uh, sections here there are few others we'll talk about like runner i'll talk about this later when i'll show you the runner right uh, capture request we'll see that as you know, whenever you know you use some proxy or something we'll see that cookies right if you want to add some cookies domain cookies we'll see these by example right now you won't understand this we'll have a demo related to this so once we have demo you will understand actual use of it one more important section in left hand side you will see the history here collections environments environments we'll see later but history all the requests what you have made are available under history so this is important and in bottom this console is important where you will see entire stuff what is about your request response request headers whatever you want to see so you can see whatever the request was and what was the response actual response you will be seeing here so this was our first request i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you